Anyway, enjoy the show. Hey guys, it's your boy Poe here. So before we start today's live stream, I just want to make clear to anybody who might be watching this for the first time, this is a work of fiction. We are going to be reading a work of fiction, a work of ridiculous, overly fetishized fiction, but fiction nonetheless. Nobody that is part of this believes anything along the lines of what they are reading. This is just done for comedy and for the enjoyment of the people watching. Now that you understand that, I think we can begin the show. Hopefully you understand that. Do you understand that? Okay. I'm, I'm talking to myself at this point. Anyway, enjoy the show. Sick. That is really sick. Yeah. Sick. Yo, uh, yo, everyone. Thanks. Welcome to another episode of Digital Blackface. This is episode thirty-three. Thank you for being with us today. We have a a packed cast. We've got, as usual, Aimbot, Amy, and my man Baku. Hey yo. And we got Ash. Ash, say hi to the people. Let's let's go. go. My man Andy Worski. Yo, yo, what up? What up? Skeleton from Norway. Hello. Hello. Mitch. Hello. Hello. Tempokin. What's up? What's up? And Dimitri. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So uh, today, uh, like I promised, we are going to be doing something that you guys are kind of used to and is um something that was rather popular last time we did it. Um, we're going to be reading last, a last. certain a novel. Okay. Wait, I'm echoing? That sucks. I don't, I don't think you are. Oh, 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 on that, on that side, side yeah, maybe. Oh my god. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be reading a certain novel, but before we start with that, we are going to actually, <laughs> we are actually going to be reading people's anonymous confessions for at least, for a little bit, okay? Uh, so these confessions are submitted to me by Twitter, and, well, through Twitter, Discord, and all that. And they are wild and they are crazy. And we are going to start with Dimitri. Dimitri, you mind reading the first confession for us? Sure, sure but do you, but want, do you want to fix the audio? audio? Because it, it says everyone, everyone but you is echoing. Everyone, everyone keeps saying in chat. chat. That is wild. Okay, let me see. Everyone but me is echoing. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, so it's probably, probably your, computer's your computer's capturing the audio and also streaming it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, so your maybe your OBS is capturing the desktop, the desktop and, and is listening to it. I don't know. I try not sharing the uh, uh, Discord to your OBS, OBS and, just and just capture your desktop. Your desktop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me see. It's it's issues already. already. We're doing great, boys. We're having, We're having a good time. time. <laughs> <laughs> We're streamer. Well, well, just, you, know well, what we're doing. you know what? I think I just think, just I think of it this way. It's, it's only up from here. It is only up from here. Give me all your money. I think I know what happened. Okay, so this is the first time I've used banana meter while streaming on um. While streaming oh, on oh, 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 that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah. I had this issue. That makes sense. I had this issue with Twitch. Okay. So let's see, desktop audio. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see. How does it sound now? Okay, is it still? Is it? Are we still? Are, are we, we still, actually? Are we? Still yeah, we'll see. Test, test, one, two. Chat. How do we sound? How do we sound? Chat. How how garbage do we sound right now? Testing, testing. Actually, one, two, three. Actually, I don't think I can hear you at all, which is even worse. Fix, fix. Let's go. Let's go. You. I got it in. The, I got it in. A, oh, it fixed. I got it, it in a separate window. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. It seems fixed. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. Perfect. Yes. 
Okay. Well, okay. If it if it's fixed, that's mm, no problem of mine. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, Dimitri, would you mind starting us off? Of course. Okay. I nearly fucked my cousin at a funeral a couple of years ago, and I completely regret it. Okay. How do Sorry, you nearly um, fuck somebody? Okay, no, but what I want to I guess you get to the bed and stop. <laughs> I don't know. Does he just... Does he or only realize... The tree, wherever they are. Does he only realize it's his cousin after he gets in the bed with her? You've got to Listen, wonder... Listen, his grandma just died. He's, it's rough, okay? Well, yeah, I was saying... You've, you've got to wonder whose funeral it is, right? Cousin's funeral. <laughs> cousin's funeral. I mean, cousins are... <laughs> cousins aren't as bad. <laughs> You know, no, 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 you can get away with it. The cousin that he almost had sex with. Look, look. <laughs> like, does he regret? Does he regret not doing, or does he regret almost doing it? That is, I mean, that is actually a really good question, good right? Question. Yeah. How hot is know. the cousin? Honestly, it seems like he regrets not doing it. If you read it, like, you know, he just confirms my xenophobia against Americans. What do Americans do to you? <laughs> Not all Americans fuck their cousins. Dominate her fucking shitty yeah. culture. That's why. okay. It's like a solid thirty-five percent of Americans that fuck their cousins at funerals. But it's not only at funerals. That's just that. I mean, you I, think funerals are the prime show, so. breeding ground for incest? That why is, wouldn't they be? That is I mean, like Thanksgiving. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't they? I mean, everyone's really <laughs> upset. You, you'd I'd I'd argue, I'd argue that it's not exactly that bad, you know. Okay, okay. You know what? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> reals, <bad>. man. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's, let's, let's go to the next question. Um, who, next question. Who's the reader for that one? That would be uh, Ash. That's you, Ash. You're reading. Okay. Question number two. Okay, so the, the confession is I put my finger in my ass and I licked it like it was Nutella. But why? Uh, no, that's not surprising at all. That, okay, that you know what? Something had to I be think, on that finger. I think putting Yeah, because he said like Nutella and yeah, that's an it, Nutella's, interesting visual. Nutella's like, a pretty uh, thick <laughs> substance. So it's rather thick. Uh, it's very thick. Oh, so Maybe he was just having diarrhea and like you know, <laughs> needed to just get it out of him. That is a softy. That's that not how that works. You don't fish it out. Like, yeah. you don't. I've. No, no. I've it's been not like, it's not like a fucking cool like, I, wait, I wait, had to get wait, like wait. A, you, a small What frame of references do you guys have? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, how do you know? Yeah. <laughs> how do you know it's being licked like Nutella? Oh no, no, no. That is not the question. How do you Maybe, know it's yeah. like that? <laughs> how? I've, yeah. I mean, I've been constipated, and I had to get, you know, a small spoon, a small and just start spoon. digging oh, it out. Small, oh, small, 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 small spoon? How about a yak? Small spoon! It was a really bad time, I was at a hotel, I had really bad food, and I just, Wait, I couldn't get anything bad, out. How bad was the food that you needed to dig into it like it was ice cream? <laughs> like it was, I, was, I was going to ask, why didn't you go to a doctor, but then I remember American Healthcare. Yeah, like, like, now the Norwegian is gonna uh, preach to us. True. Like, <laughs> Yo, you like, don't listen, up the listen, spoon? listen. I would get free. Um... Eat up the spoon? No, I I put it in I put it in the freezer first. I like it what cold. You know what? Let's let's. <laughs> what? The we, we oh, yeah, no, maybe you should go to the hospital. We're going to move on to number three. I'm <laughs> Thank the one you. Good God. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been uh -huh. accused of rape three separate <laughs> times, but the only time I've had sex was with a 20 year old while I was 15 in high school. Yo, so the only so time you actually well, had sex was. Wow, he's just like. With statutory rape against It's yourself. just like me, for real. I feel like there's a lot to analyze with this one. There's a lot of. Okay. Moving I, I will say this, parts. though. I can relate there are a lot to this of moving one. Parts. You, you, can, you, can relate, of... you can relate to you the three relate? separate times? Uh, yes, actually. What? what? Fuck. <laughs> I've been I've been falsely accused uh, a few times, and it Man. was fucking hell. How does that? There's do a reason I'm no longer in Tampa. How many skits or GFs did you have? <laughs> I will, the, the first one. Okay, I will. I'll just say the first one because the other two are still kind of sore subjects, but the first one is kind of funny. Okay. okay. So well, that's I was good. coming back from a club with my gay neighbor. Okay. Gay uh, neighbor. We're already starting right. off really great. Yeah, he great. brought a bunch of women with us. Okay. So you know, like he, mm -hmm. he knew I he knew I was by. He's like, yo, you can just go kind of go with whoever at this point. 
We end up coming back. My room's locked because my roommate's fucking getting laid. So me, one of the girls, and the gay guy crash in his room. Well, I wake up. We all go grab food. And later on in that day, I hear someone say that I was accused of rape. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? They said that the girl who I was hanging with in the morning I accused me. I'm like, okay, a little weird. I go over to her. And when I find her, she's like, why are you telling people that you raped me? I'm like, wait, what do you mean? What? Apparently, not the gay neighbor, but my other neighbor saw us all hanging out, got jealous, and accused me of rape. That seems like a reasonable yeah. response. That is a reasonable you, response. You, to see you, your I'm neighbor just, have fun. That 18 year old Indian guy. No fun Who, allowed. Get get to come. No fun allowed. And no comb for me, no comb for thee. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's a good one, actually. He couldn't get at me. Oh, that's mm. cool. that's actually hilarious. He's the one who actually, it's actually raped, hilarious, right? It's really fucked all the same that's, time. That, that, is, that almost hilarious. went really horribly. Okay, but, but the only thing I'm gonna say is like, um, th- for this, for this, for this confession, um, I just want to know what happened those three separate times. I just, I need to know the details there. Was it? Was it like separate? Was it the context? same girl? Yeah, they probably was just yeah, went to college, dude. Dude, they probably the just went to college. That's how fucking bad it is now. Oh, yeah. I feel like the I feel like the first time you get accused of rape, like you gotta be like, God, that sucks. I mean, come on. Second yeah. time, it happens to everyone. Yeah, second, second time, time, shame on you. Ironically, yeah. Shame on you. Everyone. Let me go rape my girlfriend right now. This. Rape me once, shame happens, on you. I'm going rape to me twice. Rape me twice. Does not have very the good taste. Shame on you. The first time this sort of thing happens, you're like, okay, well, I I need to be a little more careful, whatever. The second time, you're like, okay, what the fuck is wrong with people? You know, you you kind of get that uh, what's the word? Not apathy, but uh, paranoia. Misanthropy. Misanthropy. That's what it is. Ooh, misanthropy. You really that's bad misanthropy. The third time is when the paranoia kicks in. Mm. Mm. Because and the fourth time, rape you. And the fourth really time like, is when you have them well, tied up in the back of a van. If, if you ask anyone who's yeah. had it happen okay. to them twice <laughs> or more than that, they are. Vis- like they, if you hang out with them long enough, they will show so many signs of paranoia. It's terrifying. Okay. If I got raped too many times, I just put a bl- butt plug in there to make it harder. For <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a good strat. I know, right? Oh, That's a yeah. Really, I, like I that would make it easier. I feel so fucking normal right now. Holy shit. Anyway, yeah. Andy, <laughs> Andy, Andy, you're up next. Is this how it is? You're number four. This is just uh, America, by the way. I don't care, by the way. Uh, yeah. Shake, Baku, and likes bussy. Ah. Andy, you're number four. Uh, Thank you, bro. Uh, uh, I, uh, shove, I shoved my dick... In- I think I, sh- I shoved my dick into a shampoo bottle that my family used when I was like oh 10. My god. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. That's How big was the shampoo bottle? Has anyone ever heard the story of... Um, there was a guy who was really angry at his roommate because he had a obnoxious fucking girlfriend. So, he's, so he started jacking off in her no, shampoo. I think I and, and, <laughs> and then boom, pregnant because... That's not... Also, that is not what? that is definitely not how that works. I'm pretty sure it's literally happens in the hair, actually. Who yeah. uses shampoo on their cooch? <laughs> Doesn't that dry it out? A sperm yeah, but... dies when it's outside, like yeah. instantly. <laughs> it, it has instantly. to be. Doesn't well, sperm like survive up to 30 minutes? No, it ha- it has to be no. pumped right in, like it oh, it so be. he like he jacked off into it and no, then handed it to her remember... while she was in the shower. I remember there was a situation ah, where right. a bunch of women got pregnant because some guy jacked out into a fucking pool. That's oh, no, no, no. awesome. A hot tub, it was <laughs> better. Like, apparently, in, in a hot tub, it can survive for a bit longer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's hot and it's cool. Okay, okay. It survives in hot okay, environments. Okay, so. Uh, it's number, really interesting that you guys five. are well versed on this topic. Okay, first of all, I am the, very the only worst. reason I know about the hot <laughs> tub thing is because I watched Glee when I was a kid and I looked it up. And that was because that's uh, what really? happened. That was a plot point. <laughs> that yeah. happened in Glee? That was a plot point. Somebody, somebody accidentally uh, came early in a hot tub and it just went in there. Yeah. Isn't yeah. Glee just like about singing? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's also about, about coming. Kids. It's also about the most obnoxious <laughs> actress in the history of Hollywood. Oof. Okay, number five. This is Baku. This is on Baku. Oh boy, this is mine, huh? Yeah. Mm. 
I remember I shit myself once when I went to the bathroom, oh. tried to flush my underwear, then it flooded the bathroom so bad they had to close that side of the door. <laughs> 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 I was trying to read that face and I couldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> You no, know, it does this sound one like, like a sketch. Do. I can picture it. I can pick. Look, like honestly, I've yeah. I've had like high school. I had a bathroom issue. It was it was like honestly, like at that moment, I had it was the literal worst, the worst thirty oh, minutes. Tell me that wasn't life. from you. What? What wasn't from me? This one. What? This? No, this was the one I just one. read. No, no, no. Okay, mine, mine was mine was. It wasn't. It wasn't worse, but it was nearly as bad. Jesus Christ. Really? My volume mm. is still that low? Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> okay, how's this? Is it better? Should be good. Okay. It should be good. Should be good. Anyway. Hopefully. So okay, I- I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you my story. And remember, I was what, fourteen? I was fourteen in sophomore year. So okay, it's a minor story. So listen, oh, no. listen, listen. Nobody get any ideas. So like th- for lunch that day. They served us hot dogs with chili on them. And mm. like I had a I had this friend of mine who was a girl. Each of us like like two hot dogs. Each I had a friend who was a girl who was anorexic. And she was like, hey, do you want my hot dogs? I'm like, yeah, sure. Mm, go ahead and do your thing. And uh so I ate her chili dogs. And I, I noticed her dog her chili dogs were undercooked. And I was like, eh, you know what? It's it's school food. It's all undercooked. And I ate it. So um around Two hours later, this was right before school was about to end, by the way. So I, I, I was I, all of a sudden I noticed my stomach was doing uncomfortably loud things. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'm about to go home in 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes tops. And because I, I lived literally I, I lived literally right behind the school, like a 10 minute walk at most, just because I had to go around a long fence. And I was like, I'll be fine. And all of my stomach just kept getting louder and louder. I was like, hey, uh, teach, I got to go use the bathroom real quick. And the teacher, she was just like hot 28 year old with like huge tits, but she was engaged. So it was like, but anyway, for you. like it was a Fortunate. whole thing. It was a whole thing. Mm-hmm. I had a big crush on the teacher. Not the point. Anyway, she let me go to the bathroom <laughs> and all the bathrooms were either closed or occupied. So I was on the third floor. I went. I realized that, oh my God, I am literally, this, this is about to go down right now. It's about to go down. And by down, I mean out of me. So I walked down three flights of stairs, keeping very, keeping clenched just as hard as I could. And then as I got down to the first floor, I, there were these like very, very pretty girls just standing Right by, I was like, "Hey, I'll, so I decided, you know what? I'll be good. I'm going to stop to talk to them. Like, what's good?" And they're like, eh, and oh "They were like, hey, shut up and leave us alone." I was like, "Okay, fine, cool." So, I made it to the bathroom, and I was already rushing. And then I sat down. Right before I sat down, it exploded. Oh, and I was oh. just, I was just in there, and I was just, I was like, "Wow, wow." Finish. You're carrying an <laughs> IED around the school. Someone should arrest you for that. I just like literally, I didn't do anything. I just like took off my pants completely and sat there for an hour. And then I called my mother. And, like, and I was like, because I was like, how do I explain? I was like, and I called my mother. And I was like, hey, Ma. She was like, where are you? Why aren't you home? He's like, um, yeah. So I'm still at school. She was like, why? I was like, well, before you say anything, my stomach. And to be fair, this also happened two years ago in seventh grade. So, <laughs> so you're a repeat offender. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, Mom, can you just bring me another pair of khakis, please? She's like, what happened? I was like, I don't just bring me another pair of khakis and like a trash bag. I don't want to explain it. And maybe a new pair of shoes, too. Actually, yes, a new pair of shoes. <laughs> And and also socks. You know what? You yo, is that why in all your photos now you have a backpack because you're <laughs> you're <running laughs> just kicking in a spit with them all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> so so she so she brought she brought the bag. She brought she brought the the, the khakis. She brought the shoes. And I just like put them in there and just left the whole bathroom a mess and just like went home and I was like, wow. That could have ended much worse. I'm glad this actually went real, real well for for what happened. And that's how I shit myself at school for the second time. Wow, that, wow. that was that awful. For the second time. 
What a beautiful story. I love that. <laughs> okay, uh, Skeleton, you're next with number six. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm starting to think I'm ace after years for being degenerately horny. It just dis dissipated. And it makes me question myself and make me, makes me afraid to tell others for fear they won't believe me and think I'm just doing it for attention. Listen. If you're gonna... Listen, buddy. You were going to send in an, an anonymous submission. Yeah, I you can send in the most raunchiest shit ever, and you send in the most boring fucking bullshit. God damn! God damn! Who gives a fuck? <laughs> if you're ace, just have sex. What's wrong with you? Honestly, <laughs> true. <laughs> but I was hope yeah I read the degenerately horny and I was hoping this was going to be like a super raunchy coomer story but it's like ah oh, my dick isn't working I'm afraid I'm maybe, <laughs> maybe he's just I, I'm afraid I, I, I think, just don't like I think sex this anymore this guy just might be depressed Oh, he might just be depressed. Uh, he he now he's going to kill dude, himself. Good job, Scott. With the, uh, <laughs> pandemic, you know, with the <laughs> pandemic, you put on a bunch of weight. Does dick uh, doesn't work anymore? It's something like bro. that. Oh, yeah. Man. And and I still don't believe you. No, nice. there are people. There are people in this world who it's a it's a phobia. They are just terrified of pussy, and it's mind blowing. <laughs> they watch teeth Wait, too many do, times. Do they work for Kotaku? Oh mm -hmm. God. <laughs> Probably. They work for Kotaku. Honestly, because of the quarantine, it's more normal to jack off eight hours a fucking day. Okay, first of all, just... eight, 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 eight hours is kind of ridiculous. Three three tops, you know? Like, each time no, I an can hour. No, three. Each time, and, uh, you'd, be, you'd be surprised, dude. Like, no, I, I've spent a whole ten hours just <laughs> plugging myself. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, Jesus, Lord! Interesting choice of words. Okay, look. To be fair, to be fair, <laughs> in Dimitri's in Dimitri's defense, I have gone like an entire Wait, night I without. Didn't... Wait, it wasn't him. It was oh, me. It wasn't me. <laughs> I just I just assumed that was Dimitri. Dude, I don't. This is slander. <laughs> I just assumed. <laughs> Hey, just, we've all had those days where you beat up, <laughs> you rub the skin off your dick. And I just, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Demi. I just assumed that was you. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. Like, okay. Anyway, like, I, in in whoever said that's defense. Um, what do you mean, whoever said that? In Ash's defense, I <laughs> look in Ash's defense. I've I've gone like an entire night or a few without sleeping <laughs> and just you know. Yeah, till I thinking it would get me tired, but then I was like, like, wait, I'm not tired. I'm just ready to go again. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah like what that. if the what if the porn is just really good, dude? You know what? what I don't, you no porn. You know what? You're not good. You're not good. If it has, look, I think. Look, I'm just gonna say this. I think if if it has a good storyline, it makes sense because there exactly. are exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, although like some aren't a good storyline, but you just like their voice and like you know what? This, I can listen to this woman speak. Like, Dude, I don't know, those man. Those vintage Some ones that have the full, like, on movies and shit. Sometimes I just get really intrigued and really immersed with the lemon-stealing horror, okay? And I just have to know her lore. I need to know her backstory. Oh, and I need to know shit. why she's stealing lemons. I love lemon-stealing horror. <laughs> Do you guys know about this? <laughs> Fuck. I've never heard of that. You guys have never heard of lemon-stealing horror. Oh, no, my I've God. never heard of that. Okay. So lemon stealing whore is a is a porno about a a scantily clad Latina woman who sneaks into somebody's backyard in a in a brazen attempt to steal this man's lemons. Uh oh, and oh no! Promptly, they not not and, like and then you wonder like, like lemons they're like just in like, a tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah no and they're yeah. talking and i remember the dialogue is just ah oh, man i love our lemon tree yeah i love our lemon tree too. <laughs> i really hope a nice lemon tree. i really hope no. nobody ever tries to steal our lemons you think some type of whore would try to steal our lemons i don't think any <laughs> whore would try to steal our lemons and then they turn around like, oh my god stealing a whore, whore is, is stealing our lemons and it's like uh, no it's, like, it's very it's very captivating that we Dude, you, 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 forgot, you forgot the best line. What was the best line? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's I think it's time for Mitch to read number seven. Number seven. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to decapitate my Barbie dolls and throw them in the closet to die because I thought they were going to kill me after seeing the movie Chucky. Okay, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, like a computer. movie, all the, like, a trailer voice, mm-hmm. eh? Like your voice is yeah. so like radio movie trailer. It's that was so movie. nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, goddamn. If you've well, seen Toy Story, really you awesome. would know that doing that would not work, though. That is true. They're still yep. alive. They don't we have. Remember organs. Sid? True. Yeah. We were... Okay, let's see. This this kid probably grew up to be a cartel member. Okay, I don't think everyone who decapitates their dolls becomes a cartel member. Almost. Almost. I mean, there's a percentage, I though. Like, <laughs> a percentage. <admit>. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I used to do that as a kid out of, like, morbid curiosity, and I, I don't know. Morbid curiosity? What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I just wanted to look, see. Look, listen, listen, look. That's I, the saw, thing. I saw Toy Story. That's the thing about morbid curiosity. I used to do a lot of stuff out of morbid curiosity, and it generally went how I thought it would go, but I had to make sure. Yeah, but it's not as good because they don't bleed. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, wrong with you? I'm not gonna. Oh God. I'm just gonna. Just, I'm not gonna get into that one. Actually, uh, let's go to number eight. Uh, who's number eight? Uh, Tempo Kin. Uh, when I was 24, I was approached by a deaf coworker who said she wanted to go out with me. Since I was learning American Sign Language and I thought she was cute, I accepted. And for about five months, we dated. It was going pretty well, but she kept insisting on not only moving in with me. But that she wanted to get married. And keep in mind that she starts suggesting this stuff four months in. Eventually, I found out she was an illegal immigrant. And most likely, she was only interested in me because she wanted to use me to become a citizen the easy way. So I broke up with her over text to report her to ICE. By next week, I know she wasn't coming to work anymore. So I can assume she was deported. Jesus is- oh my fucking god. I mean, look. Jeez. What a yeah, king. In his Good. defense. In shit. his what defense. You are a madman. I would feel defense, betrayed. Yeah. In his defense, <laughs> I can understand that logic. Like, okay, yeah. oh, so you're gonna you're gonna do this to me? Okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You wanna use me? Mm. You get you're gonna get mm, you know what I mean, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. How right? are you gonna try and heist your way into the United States when you can't even hear? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get canceled for being um, ableist. Does anyone else, wait, do you guys know about the deaf supremacy movement? Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. No, 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 no. Ever, ever since I, ever since I watched Switched at Birth, I've heard about this. It's like a Switched little, it's like a little mm-hmm. underground. I don't think it's super like common. A lot of people know about it. I didn't know about it. I have a my one of my friends has a deaf dad. It's fine. I was in college. I wanted to take uh, deaf cult. I had to take one of these stupid fucking classes that had nothing to do with my degree. And one of them on there was mm-hmm. deaf culture, which I didn't know was a thing. But I was like, okay, cool. At least I could learn something. Maybe I could communicate with deaf people. Maybe I could help out. Right. The first thing the deaf teacher does when she gets in, she says, I'm not going to teach you ASL. You have to learn it your fucking self. I have translators, but no one gets to speak in the class. And the class got worse and worse. And it turns out that there's there are deaf supremacists that genuinely fucking hate people who can hear. They hate the idea of fixing uh, children's hearing at birth because we can fix it now. It's not yeah. deafness. Yeah, is gonna, yeah, like, yeah. going to be obsolete. <clears throat> and they they like have this whole movement. There was we, they, She brought in deaf artists. And that, that was like the one time, like six weeks in, I was like, okay, this might be interesting, because what does that, I assume, sound like, right? No, no, no. <laughs> this, this fucking bitch, she would just paint over, like, Van Gogh paintings with ASL hand sign shit and steal it, and she would sell these, I, I don't know for how much, but, and that was her deaf art, was, like, th- thievery. And there's a whole deaf supremacy wow. movement, and if, I did, if you don't pass these, like, classes, if you don't co- kowtow to this bitch... I could have failed, even though I had the straight A's, perfect grades. Like, I'm sure I had a B somewhere, but like, fucking, I was doing great. I was ahead of the class, and if I didn't listen to her specifically, because this class is required, I'm fucked. Can't graduate. No, what year. the fuck? Like, oh, that's that's shit like, work. like, was she deaf? Know. Was she deaf? Of course yeah, she, she was. Deaf, she was deaf. Yeah. Well, well, at least mm-hmm. she was deaf. Music, so. I ratted her ass. I know, right? I fucking ratted her ass out to the dean. Because, like, I had a recording of her saying, actually, like, I don't want to say racist because it's not racist, but like anti regular people shit. Anti sound. Anti ears. People with working ears. Well, she would call people like, she would say that we were like scumbags. I was going to ask what the slurs were. What are the slurs? Hearing. It's like hearing. It's uh, hearing. Uh, uh, fucking! I they, they all revolve around ears. It's fucking retarded. Yeah. You know, probably enabled no, people's. The, the, yeah. The that's, thing that's very is. funny. The thing that's very funny is like um when people try to use slurs like that like 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 they they try to make up slurs for things that aren't slur worthy. Like, oh, yeah. Have you seen uh, a yeah, child free yeah. reddits where yeah. they call people breeders? 
Is a oh, the breeder sounds like a fetish thing. Like that's a thing someone <laughs> that drops during bed. Thing. Like it's really yeah. cool people like, <laughs> I'm a child can't be, can't be a breeders fetish. as a slur. Like it can't be a fetish. Yeah. It's it's so like, funny. It can't be a fetish. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like like um. When I don't I was know. Going, you're not breeding every when time. When I was growing sense. up, like people would make fun of me for reading, and I was like, "They're books." What a fucking what a, reader, yeah, yeah, bitch! You read? Like I was like, "What are you like? What? It's a book. What? What's? What's? You're gonna be stupid as fucking hell later." You're such a fucking reader, Poe, with a hard yeah. R. Like, it never, it, it, it never <laughs> made sense to me. It never made sense to me. Like, wh- wh- yeah. how was that supposed to hurt me? What? It's a book. They, they're, they're Damn, reading. bitch, you read. <laughs> okay, let's see. Number nine. Who's number nine? That's uh, Dimitri. Okay. This is Dimitri. That's, yeah. Oh, All right. This seems like a heavy one. This is a big uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> it's really heavy. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Nothing big, but there was a time I stole a cereal bar from a gas station. Oh, oh shit! Oh, a whole Shut cereal it bar. Down. Like Twenty times. Shut it down. Oh, Shut it down. Jesus Christ! Oh, you're gonna need to report what? this guy. What a monster! A we, whole... we need to find this man. Like, what, uh, I think it's something about Samuel L. Hayati. Specifically, what an absolute criminal. Specifically, what type of cereal bar? Because, like, if it was like, um, if. If it was Rice Krispies, that's that's kind of understandable. <laughs> I've stolen like five Neckos from a convenience store before. I have no Are idea what a Neko that... is. Oh, a Neko. You don't know what a Neko is? That... Neko wafer? Yeah, a Neko wafer. Yeah, I've never, I've I never those touched things. those. I've never touched those. Are like the oldest, those are so like the good. oldest fucking candy ever. Like I've. I know. <laughs> okay, no, like when I was when I was in like high school, like I did, I did actually steal candy from like my giant to sell, and then I would come back like the next week and like put some money down. And then dip out, and then I'll just keep. I was like, so it's not really stealing if I just like return some of the money. It's, it's like a loan. Yes, <laughs> I'm, like I'm, a loan. I'm taking I'm a loan. Grocery store, and like, I used to steal all the time. Like I, I would, I would make, back. I would make tons more money than than like the candy was worth. So I would just drop the little bit of 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 money that we, that I basically took, and I'm like, oh, okay, so it's good. I'm not doing anything wrong here. And then I would calculate the taxes on my paychecks at. At the no frills I worked with, I go okay. They took uh, you know, like eighty four dollars. I can I, I can steal eighty four dollars worth of stuff this week. <laughs> like to pay the, back the taxes. The manager, Thanks. the manager knew. Like he he actually he he. I know every okay. time I was there, the manager would show up, and he was like this tall white guy balding, and like he would just look at me every time, and I I look at him back, and he was, and he asked me I'm like, hey, you're often in here. I never see you buying anything. I'm like trust me, like don't worry, I'm I'm buying stuff. He was like, are you sure? Like yeah, of course. I would never steal. And, and I, I was not stealing, of course. You're stealing rules. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't d- don't steal, kids. I don't. Because I, <laughs> I was paying. I feel it, like I paying it back. I, theft is absolutely okay in Minecraft. It was a down payment, really. Yep. There you go. There okay. You go. Let's see. Number ten. There we go. got. Uh, this is Ash. All right. I am something somewhat of a kleptomaniac. Okay, a lot of one. I've never worked at a business that I haven't stolen from something from, whether that's spare uniforms or utensils or computer equipment. More than just that, I've stolen from every friend I've ever had. Sometimes it's something innocent, like just a nice pen. Sometimes it's something more gra- drastic, like an entire shelf. What? Despite being poor, I actually very rarely need any of it. Yeah. I just like the thrill of it, a game that I can get away with or not. The few times someone has actually realized I took something, I sneak it back into their house and hide it somewhere out of the way so they just think they lost it. Sometimes I I sew it. I do it without them even realizing it just because I got bored and wanted to see if I can make it re- reappear magically. It's something I am both proud and ashamed of, yet I don't stop doing it. This guy is a... There's only fucking this guy sucks dick. There's only two people it's cool to steal from, and that's a bank or Uncle Sam, man. Anyone else? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, this guy is a superb gaslighter, too. Oh my god. He's, <laughs> he's like, he's no, amazing. I didn't steal, you just lost it. <laughs> you just lost it. You're <laughs> like, like, what do you mean you lost your like, whole shelf? Like, there's this scenario. There's this scenario. Um, hey, did you steal my shelf? Um, no. Uh, oh yeah, I found it underneath my fucking pillow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like the, I just, just take it apart and stuff shelf. under the couch. How do you steal a shelf? 
awful <laughs> ass show. Uh, I'm his terrible. fucking friends, too. You don't have friends for long, motherfucker. You suck. Oh, they never yeah. found out because he yeah, gaslights them. Yeah, they never found stuff. out. <laughs> he's never yeah. found out. He's literally, oh my, he's, like, he's a heist, he's a heist king. Like, I'm surprised. Despite like, being poor. Ugh. Like, I'm surprised Despite Danny Ocean, poor. Danny Ocean hasn't hired this guy yet. It's amazing. Um, okay, so I think <laughs> I think we're ready to start reading. Are you guys ready to start reading? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, let's oh go. am I ever? Okay, okay. So, guys, we are about to start reading the what we came here for. Okay, the book Black Future. Let's let's get down to it. Down to business. Down to business. To defeat the Huns. Anyway, <clears throat> I God will. Damn it. Okay, so I will start. I will. I will narrate the first like three or four pages, and then I will pass it off to. Okay, so Dimitri is going to play the main character. Um, what? I Interesting. Dimitri is going to play the main character. Um, Andy. Mm. Okay. Uh, who wants to play the sister to the main character? Do you want me to narrate stuff? Actually, you know what? You should start off with narrating. You have the better narrate narrator voice. Okay. <laughs> So I, the uh, first, I so the first, uh, what, uh, four four pages you can you do off, and then we'll pass it off to uh, uh, Baku, then me. Um, let's see. They only have like, I guess I can do one of the black guys who shows up later. <laughs> um, we'll we'll just pass it off as we go. We'll just we'll have fun. I'll I'll do commentary on the side. Okay. I'll be the yeah. whores. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I just want to be the sissy girl. Okay. So I'll, just, I'll just freak the fuck I out. Th okay. No, actually, uh, Skelly, you can do the sister. Or who wants to do the sister? Anyone else want to do the sister? Nope. Okay. I guess I'm the sister. Okay. Mr. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, Mitch, start us off. <clears throat> All right. Alex of Black Future, book one by Wendy <laughs> Ryan. I can't. Let's start. Alex labored up the mountainside. His charcoal black hunting cloak flapped in the late afternoon breeze. His eyes were two slits, <laughs> glaring beneath the shadow of his hood. Through familiar trails he trudged, his legs burning as the terrain steepened, carrying a pair of plump rabbits freshly retrieved from his traps. Subsistence living must have been hard enough, Alex thought, in the pre-war days. But to do it now, stripped of manhood, Bereft of testosterone, addled with government-issued hormones, it was humiliating. Such was life in New Africa. Alex arrived at his log cabin, tucked away at the edge of a small village. It overlooked a panorama of peaks, a stretch of glorious mountainous terrain which, only ten years prior, had been part of the state of Georgia. Those days seemed like a half-remembered dream, hazy, idealized, unreal. Alex stopped at the doorway and looked back over the winding trails he'd climbed, over the mountains of his youth. It was a beautiful day. The late summer's air was warm and filled with golden sunshine. Broad-tailed hawks lazily patrolled the sky. Alex hated beautiful days. They tempted him into the seductive trap of hope. Ever since the revolution, mm -hmm. Alex had learned one thing with total certainty. A white boy must never, ever, ever dare to hope. Okay, one second. One second. Just, sure. Oh my god, I'm, I'm trying. I've been trying hard and really not to laugh. Okay, sorry. Continue. continue. I'm getting PTSD actually continue, from all of this. Continue. 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 <laughs> he entered the cabin, placed the rabbits on the handmade kitchen counter, and removed his cloak. Alex's shoulder-length pink and blue wig. <laughs> what? I forgot. As he pulled it off and placed it on its mannequin's head beside the hat rack. Many white boys wore their wigs to home. <laughs> oh, not Alex. Why is it white boys with uh, an eye? <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> he was only legally required to wear it out of the house. And by God, he wouldn't wear it a moment longer. He gladly exchanged the humiliating, slutty wig for his natural, short, dirty blonde hair when he could. It was one of his small, personal rebellions. Alex heard the drone of the television in the main room. He knew what that meant. <clears throat> Tori and Tori had sneaked in again to watch television. Wearing his government-issued skirt and stockings, God. Alex was in the main room. Of course. <laughs> Naturally. To see what the two troublemakers were doing. Where's Kaylee? I brought dinner. Alex said, 
trying his best to sound gruff and manly, despite the hormones. <laughs> I okay. guess I'm Corey. Um, I could, I'll, uh, wait, who wants to be, who wants to do Corey and Tori, or just the random voices? I'll, I'll be one of them. Okay, go ahead. Uh, d- down in the village square. Corey said, <laughs> twirling the tresses of his green wig, lounging on the old threadbare couch. And who's Tori? Who's Tori? <laughs> To I guess I'm Tori. Okay, go ahead. Uh, he's, <clears throat> he's reading stories to the kids again. Tori said, <laughs> eyes glued to the screen. Corey and Tori were both male. They were only teenagers. Uh-oh. And consequently, they barely remembered life before the revolution. Like all white boys in New Africa, they'd been placed on hormones immediately following the ceasefire. They knew nothing of the world before. No John Wayne. No cowboys and Indians, no white male heroes. They became natural sissies, dressed the part. And though Alex tried his best, he couldn't awaken any rebellious, masculine impulses within them. They, like many others in the village, regarded Alex as a quiotic subversive, a dreamer of illusions of Britain. Quixotic or quiotic? I think it's quiotic. Yeah, they really um, whipped out the the yeah, source for that one. Like, yeah, all, 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 all I'm going to say about this is like, <laughs> she she can write oddly enough. It's just the thing she chooses to write. Like it's functional, yeah. Just, yeah it's <laughs> Personally, uh, I'm incredibly engaged. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> I'm interested. I, I am weirdly immersed too. Okay. Like, <laughs> I kind of like this sissy. <laughs> Okay. I'm absorbed into the realm of New Africa. <laughs> Are you? Okay. I, okay. I guess New Africa is it's Georgia, old United States. It's Georgia, yeah. or, or maybe the entire country. Yeah, you guys knows? should tweet at her. You should tell her how the much you like the story. Oh, she's, 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 she's gone. Appreciate. She's gone from Twitter. We got into a fight last year. Oh, <laughs> she, oh. Wait, she got canceled. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay. I will explain. I will explain. Okay, so I found her novel and um. Uh, I, I found her Twitter, and then like I basically made fun of some of the things she was saying that I saw her tweeting, <laughs> and then she just started coming at me. She was like, "Oh, uh, uh, like something, something about white guys," and I was like, "Well, first of all, how dare you approach me like that? I am an African king." And she then she stopped responding <laughs> to me, and then like I my, feel like I remember that actually. And then my followers <laughs> kept messing with her, and I was like, "Like I'm sorry, it went on this far, but." Like, it just the fact that all, that's all it took for her to stop responding for me to say that. Like, I was like, will this work? Will this really work if I say this? And I just said it, and it worked. Oh. Well, your assertive nature yeah. inspired her to write something else. Oh, my God. Well, she, oh, she yeah, Poe, you're going to be featured in the next one. She took this book down everywhere. You can't buy it anywhere anymore. Well... Um, yeah, we, we have it. We're the last <laughs> ones with the Why sacred not? text. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it's on archive.org. Yeah, it's, it's like Fahrenheit 451. We have to, you know, memorize it so that it can't be destroyed. The oh. sacred text. Okay, Dimitri, continue with you two want to stay for supper. Oh, my bad. Uh, you two want to stay for supper? Katie's cooking up her famous rabbit stew. Alex said. Oh my god, that sounds so good, Alexa. <laughs> Tori said, I still glued to the ancient pre-war flat screen TV. Alexa, Alex hated his government name. He shuddered at the sound of it. But by now, he was far past correcting other white boys when they used it. It was the sort of trivial humiliation that chipped away at his soul. Life was full of these small indignities, such as the cost of losing a race war. You're yeah, amazing, to, uh, Captain Soul. <laughs> Came a pretty voice from the TV. That's me, pretty voice. Thank you for saving us from those white boy losers. Anytime. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I got you, shut up, shut up, shut up. I gotta leave in 10 minutes. No problem. So if you want someone else, you want someone else to take this? Just continue for now. We'll we'll deal with that when you leave. Okay. Wait, Dimitri, before you go, follow me on Twitter. I need the clout. Me too. Who are you? <laughs> Fuck? <laughs> oh, the disrespect. Oh, uh, whole fucking book, dude. Oh, okay. Okay, uh... Oh, okay, um... Where, where were we? Where were we? You said anytime. 
Okay. Give it Anytime. Give me time. And now I think there's something y'all bitches need to do. I, I don't know why I'm. I think I'm doing a wet, uh, like a southern Talk accent. Your chat. That was a bit southern. Oh, yeah. I don't Talk know why. I got to channel your inner Nigerian. I, my inner Nigerian would just beat. I was about to make a joke. No, uh, no, mm. and now, and now, I, <laughs> shut up! I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> I think there's something. What? I can't. I keep doing a southern accent. I don't know where it's coming from. I just think Georgia. That's where mine goes. That's who well, you I are. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and now I think, I think there's something y'all bitches. Why am I? Y'all bitches need to do for me. I don't. You can know do why. it, African King. I don't know. Alex, <laughs> Alex looked up at the TV to see a black man on the screen, rippling, muscle bound, <laughs> with a powerful and heroic jaw. Surrounded by <laughs> they wore sci fi clothing in a futuristic setting. Two white boys in neon sissy wigs were hanging from a light post behind them, lifeless and lynched by the brave ebony lynched. hero. Oh my what god, what the fuck are you two watching? <laughs> Alex asked. Um, Captain Soul Patrol. Everybody loves <laughs> Captain Soul Patrol. <laughs> 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 there were only three channels, all state-run, all full of outright propaganda, or worse, pulp action shows like Captain Soul Patrol. Patrol. Alex hated when the village <laughs> teens came over and watched the filth. It was all village. It was all written, produced, and transmitted from Atlanta, the capital of New Africa. Oh, so hey, New Africa oh. is just Georgia then? I guess. <laughs> no, it's the capital. <laughs> Maybe it's the whole. <laughs> U.S. Why would you make Atlanta oh. the capital of the whole U.S.? It seems like a that's, that's where is the... there like a lore book for us to look. I wish there <laughs> was. Uh, can we consult yeah. Wikipedia or something? No, I need reference material. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be a wiki for this shit. Like a map on the on the back of the front page. If, if only she had put a glossary of these <laughs> new future sci-fi terms in this book. This is anyway. Uh, oh. Corey. Hey, hey, Alexa. Is it true there were like hundreds of channels before the war? Yes, uh, and that doesn't even include the internet. The internet had even more content than the TV. That must have been amazing. <laughs> Alex could hardly bear to look at the screen. I, think I hurt my nose it was, laughing. It was total. Dark. Oh, there's a fun one coming up. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no. I remember this. <laughs> Who wants to be Captain Soul? Who wants to be Captain Soul? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll, I was I'll be, this character, like a line above. I'll be one of them. I'll be one of them. I'll, I'll be the second one. It would be a, a Dimitri and then me. Okay. Oh, God, why not? <laughs> families got together to watch these shows. This is, this it was is the terrible. only option. There was no escape. And white boys like Tori and Corey actually liked watching it. Fuck us with your. <laughs> Fucking life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. with your master cock, big black daddy. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I remember why I regretted this. I remember One why I regretted this. Bending her gorgeous, fat, white ass over for Captain Soul. Black babies! <laughs> the other said, bending <laughs> his balls. Oh, okay, just let, let me, let me, give me, let me focus, let me focus. So I don't. Stay in the line, though. Yeah. Fuck is this fuck? I'm a, I'm finna nut up in them guts. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Soul said, wielding his 14 inch glistening black cock. Fourteen inches. Okay. Um, get um get them white wombs ready. Y'all about to get knocked up. Let's oh, go. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Go ahead. Is this an is this an accurate? display of black is it, people do you think yeah. isn't it yeah do you yeah, think, I think so like okay first yeah. of all first it's of one all, to one i don't think i don't think anyone has ever well i'm not gonna say this i don't think anyone has seriously ever said um i'm finna like you know that's, that's probably that's probably a lie that's probably a lie that's probably a lie somebody has definitely have guts somebody has definitely said that somebody has definitely yeah. said that it would be a lie if i were to say no what is that that, that because i know for a fact People I had a friend said who said that. Oh, who I wow. used to work with. <laughs> like, he's like, yo, this bitch giving me brains tonight. Yo, I'm finna get him them guts. <laughs> like, that's all he would say, like, all day. What the, the movie fuck? theater? <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay. He was also in a gang and then told me how he killed someone. And I was like, don't tell me that. <laughs> Seriously, don't. I, I can't. Because no. I, a secret. I, I would go to jail I with he you. He was lying, though. I, I think he was lying. lying. He, he was full of shit. He also, I love, shit. I love how it said wielding. Like it's a sword. Yeah, wielding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he threw it out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, my this, goodness. The okay. screen was two decades uh, old from the uh, 2020s. Uh, it still displayed crystal clear picture in 4K quality. Tori and Corey's eyes widened. They watched the huge purple head of Captain Purple. Sorcerer. Purple. Purple. Robin. Wait, how, how black is this guy? <laughs> this dude is black as hell. Dude, he's the darkest night. Oh, I got I gotta get going, by no, the way. No problem. Yo, no problem. easy, Dimitri. As yeah. I saw yeah, him that I'm going to miss the riveting yeah. tales. This is, this is riveting. Ugh. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so invested. <laughs> I can say I had fun. So have fun. Have fun. Thank you. Purple. Jesus Christ. Sorry, continue, oh, Mitch. A uh, huge purple head of Captain Soul's monster cock. Smooth jazz playing in the background. Smooth slipping jazz. into those wet, pink, pussy lips. The camera showed every detail with masterful primetime production quality. As the white women's faces writhed in bliss, they screamed, oh howled, and moaned for his cum. They wanted a black baby. They needed a black baby. It was every white woman's duty, after all, for the good of the nation. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this. I regret choosing you to read this because you're reading it too well. Uh, yeah, it's like a this fucking. Is, very this immersed. is why I'm so immersed. <laughs> this, this is, is an so audible book, honestly. Okay. It should be <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, one, one second. Off, okay, look, oh fuck, that's a tight ass white <clears throat> pussy. Captain Soul cried, cried, his wide right. African nostrils flaring with passion. I hate this woman so much. I, uh, Alex couldn't believe it. Alex couldn't believe it had come to this. White boys were so desperate to, cla to catch a glimpse of real biological white women. They tune in to watch a black hero save the day, defeat the evil white boys, and impregnate their women. It stood to reason most white boys hadn't laid eyes on a white woman in the flesh since the war. Oh, Alex. Uh, Alex. I guess I'll do Alex. Alex. Um, you, you sure? Uh, who who wants to be Alex? Exactly. I'll be Alex. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, you got it. All right. Enough of this. I'm not going to do these sides. Just skip over the sides. Alex, are you two tell Kaylee I've got rabbits for dinner? Fine, whatever. Corey said, standing up, checking his sissy makeup in his compact mirror. The two of them sashayed, sashayed. out the front door in their thrifty skirts and heels, colorful wigs bouncing. A high-pitched alarm on Alex's end table. His daily reminder to take his E. <laughs> Is Alex, his estrogen. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I was like, confused. What the fuck is E? Estrogen. It's gotta be. That's gotta be what it is, right? It's Endorphins. Be. Estrogen. Yeah, it's, it's, e. estrogen. Yeah, it's, it's estrogen. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Alex went to fetch his E pills from the kitchen and returned to the main room, still transfixed by the pornography. He unscrewed the cap of his E bottle with white knuckles. Brimming with rage as the black hero gave dripping cream pies to the nubile white blondes. Well, my baby has super dark skin. He's going to be power a powerful African warrior. One of the blondes <laughs> groaned. Ropes of precious black seed dripping from her pretty Okay, pink. calm down. <laughs> I'm in the fight in the new African army. Oh, the other God. groaned. Oh my God. As the camera zoomed in on the beautiful black cock, shimmering with the blonde's frothy pussy cream. Oh my God. <laughs> it hasn't its even head, been 30 minutes. Oh, its head dripping master seed. Alex turned the channel. Oh, now you turned the rage. Again. Yeah, right. Yeah. You waited the rage until then. It overwhelmed him again. The all consuming furnace of envy and impotent anger burned in the pit of his stomach. I think Alex the needs to get a fucking grip. Alex yeah. needs to get a fucking gun or something. This is fucking nuts. <laughs> Dude, no. I, if, if I was a white boy in this universe, I just hope I lose a fucking iPod and just end it. E. <laughs> Jesus fucking <sighs> Christ. Those blondes just like Kaylee, he thought. It terrified and disgusted him. 
the one pure thing in his life, the oasis in a sea of cruel domination, would never been subjected to this filth. He'd, they'd never find her. Sweet Kaylee, meek, mild, undefiled, she would remain blissfully ignorant, contented with the simple life in the mounted village. Alex may not be able to marry her, but he could cling to his last tenuous thread of his manhood. He could protect her. Oh, wait, I thought, he, I thought she was his sister. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's like an Insta story, too. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I really need the lore book. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this woman could have been the new fucking, um, oh who's, the, who's the bitch who wrote Harry Potter? Okay, let me. Okay, one rolling. second. Uh, I, we got breaking news up in this bitch. A news bulletin flashed across the screen as Alex flipped over to channel one. A dark skinned black man wore an amalgam of traditional African and urban street garb. The news anchors wore African dashikis, but also elaborate hip hop inspired bling, huge really? diamond stud earrings. Yeah, platinum grills in their mouths and 24 karat medallion. Pause, just pause one second, Paul. Like, I get, I, I get, I get that she, like, what Whitney she, Ryan has never seen a black person. I don't think she's actually no. met one in real life. I, or, or just like, like, dashikis dish, and grills? Dashikis yeah. and grills? Those don't mix. They just no. really don't make. It's either or. Either or. <laughs> Holy shit. She's combining all types of blacks into one. It's just one big black guy, you know? Okay. The high council met in Atlanta today. Chief Darius X revealed plans for two new breeding facilities in the capital district. After the summit, he spoke to the media about new Africa's change in demographics. Wait, why, is po, why is Poe narrating every black guy? Hey, yeah. why do you think? Why do you think? Listen, the reason why he's narrating every black guy is because if we try to do that shit, we will get fucking cancelled. They were supposed, to be, canceled, they were supposed to be they were supposed to be there were supposed to be two other black guys supposed to be here, but they they didn't show up. <laughs> well, I mean And Poe has been demoted to every black guy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. I don't think anyone wants to hear a white girl say, uh, fucking. We, we have breaking news, news up in this bitch. Oh, shit, this is fucking <laughs> funny. Oh, I kind of wish they said we got breaking news up in this bitch. That's fucking. <laughs> it sounds like idiocracy. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, we got God. breaking news up in this bitch is like a fucking beautiful line. <laughs> we yeah, got breaking beautiful. news up in this bitch. <laughs> Oh, if I'm you ever become it. an anchor, I'm using that. I wish like, you the could imagine. The thing is, the, the thing is, you could say that, uh, I, I was gonna make a joke. That that's what BET BET News would sound like, but BET doesn't allow oh cursing. God. BET doesn't allow cursing. <laughs> really? never, yeah, they don't. Really? They it's, say nigga though. I mean, they do. But like, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, like, um, BET doesn't allow. Like, if you watch a movie on BET, they will like edit out all the cursing. Other than that. Wrong. Wait, so you can say the soft N word, but you can't say bitch? Apparently. Like, All right, yeah. cool. You can yeah, only wanna... use the slurs that they own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah they have it. trademarked on okay. it. <laughs> let, let, let's try and get the next 30 minutes of it as, as far as we can go. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh. Chief Darius X, the leader of the new African government, stood at a spotless chrome podium. A black power fist, the young country's national symbol, blinked with gaudy red, yellow, and green lights as Darius towered above. Darius was, an, was enormous, six foot six, that's my height, a mountain of hulking muscle. He had been a commander in the, of the revolution, a national hero, and his powerful black face bore a long diagonal scar from an old war wound. He wore an ornate ceremonial robe, priceless jewelry, and a colorful tribal headdress. Okay, just... What tribe? What tribe? Like, literally, like, he's clearly from America oh. with, with a name oh. like Darius X. So, oh, what Georgian tribe? Flag. You know, you know the tribe of, you know... Probably the Confederate it's... flag. <laughs> okay, but, he, like, ornate... Just watch the car. Yo, what if it's Detroit? <laughs> Like, look, ornate ceremonial robe. He wore an ornate ceremony. What ceremony? 
I just okay, you Dude, know what? Detroit. No. Okay. No, the black ceremonies. Yeah. Hey, come on. Haven't you ever Don't heard be of Kwanzaa? Insensitive. We have taken. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> listen, okay, 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 okay. Here, here is my next <laughs> issue. Here is my next issue. We of all, all people, you should know what ceremony. Come okay, on. you know what? We have a tribe. Someone's on a tribe called Quest. That's his tribe. Okay, we have taken new measures to ensure a pure, undiluted black future in New Africa by sleeping with white women. Yeah. Making white people sissy boys? Like, how is that? Assembled... You know what? <laughs> Don't assembled... question it. The assembled black crowd cheered, hooted, and hollered. Their voices were filled with rage and triumph. What? Triumph question mark? Yeah. Well, okay, wait. How do you, okay, look, how do you see, have both? He, look, here is rage my issue. And triumph. Listen, listen, listen to this. Our darkest, pure strains are at this very moment breeding the white female cattle in our facilities. And those offspring, when they come of age, will in turn be given to the pure strains again. Okay, but how does that work? How are they, how is, are they pure? <laughs> this yeah, well, they're not they're, pure if they're fucking gonna, white bitches. Listen, they're mixed. Again, yeah. I say, brothers, until there is no trace of white genetics. That's not how genetics works. Yeah, no. I mean... They they're would all be mixed. All the, hmm. Right, they're just going to be mixed. They're going to remove all the like recessive alleles. That's it. I've just yeah. sort of accepted. Of I'm just kind of absorbing information at this point. Yeah, I, same. <laughs> I feel like asking questions is only going to, it's going to make me end up in a pink and blue wig. Oh, no, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Stop ruining my immersion, please. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Just continue the narration. The crowd cheered in rapture. Despite the drugs and the programming meant to dull his emotions, Alex's heart seethed with rage. He couldn't bear to watch another second. He turned off the pre-war TV, his, fa his face red with resentment, and choked Wait. his estrogen dose, a pink pill with the letter E printed in black. Pink. He on took either the side. pink pill? <laughs> like always, <laughs> with a small <laughs> swig of water, the E tasted bitter on the way down. Okay, so I'm going to narrate the, the, for the next few pages. This one's me. Sure, okay. sure. Alex walked down to the village square, wearing his pink and blue sissy wig once again. He couldn't chance being seen outdoors without it. Many horror stories circulated about those who were found in violation of the white boy dress code and protocols. The village square sat in the center of the dozen or so rustic cabins comprising the village. Like spokes on a wheel, Paths led out to each home from the central village square. It was the center of community life in the village, a place where white boys of all age, all ages, socialized and rested in between their daily toil. Alex hated socializing. The other men in the village and their sissified sons were resigned to their fate. Whether it was the e-pills, the chemical castration and sterilization, or the daily grind, Sigma Grind said, Alex wasn't certain. But even men who had fought in the war Men like Rob, now Roberta, Morrison, who was 10 years older than Alex, a man Alex had known and looked up to, had all become mindless sissy bimbos during tw 10 years of black rule. You know that <coughs> meme where it's like authoritarian dictatorships and teen novels when they're going up against a white girl with two boyfriends? Yeah. 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 We need one of those. Oh my god. Uh, okay, the village, truth be told, reeked of death. Though the white boys went through the motions, they knew their days were numbered. Every surviving white male had been sterilized and put on a strict regimen of hormones following the war in 2035. And every white woman was legally conscripted into the new African breeding force. White women spent their lives locked away in mysterious facilities, giving birth to litters of black babies. Okay, but to, why, why go through all that effort sterilizing and giving them female clothes when you could just kill them like just logistically speaking you're spending more you gotta, money you're spending listen, more listen, money listen. you gotta humiliate listen. your former slavery. yeah it's like keeping pets demoralization yeah, exactly. oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. like... but the amount of money <clears throat> can you imagine the, if the government had to send out clothes to every to half the population money is a white person thing I don't think they have it yeah, yeah. No, right? also also notable. We haven't heard a single thing about black women. I have. There's no I know, right? black women don't seem to exist in this story for some reason. They just don't exist. It's weird. Okay. Um. Let's see. <sighs> I was you... about to say this does remind me of a Shindal. Uh, fucking anti. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. 
But New <laughs> Africa spanned almost the exact same geographic region the Confederacy did during the Civil War. Oh, there's the lore. <laughs> in the wake of the revolution, many of the surviving white men stayed in the cities, working as house sissies for their black masters or turning tricks on the streets for cash. But plenty of others, like Alex and the rest of the villagers, fled to rural areas to live out their lives quietly as a conquered people. So they popped their pussy in the town square. I, I just, I just have for to. For money. I just have to say, like, just population-wise, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, but in the middle anyway. of this cruelty and madness, there was Kaylee. She was a spark of hope in a dark world. Alex's heart soared as he rounded the last bend of the village of the trail and entered the village square. The late afternoon bri- breeze kicked up, sweeping past his bare sissy legs, billowing his skirt and he smiled when he laid eyes on her. She was a jewel, a precious gem, a treasure beyond measure. <laughs> a treasure beyond measure. Yeah, like a little... Mm. Kaylee, sweet Kaylee, wasn't just Alex's beloved little stepsister. She was one oh. of... Wait, oh, he said he wanted to marry her. What the fuck? Stepsister. Uh, oh, that's it. There we go. There's the step. There's, there's the step. The step. <laughs> there's, yeah. the step. Yeah. there's the step. There's the step. Well, yeah. No, okay. Look, here's, Pornhub. Here, this is now a Pornhub video. Here's a very good point. Someone said, "What happened to all of the Asian and Hispanic Americans?" There's more Hispanic Americans than there are black people. So where did they go to? I mean, they they lost the race war. It's, they're, they're they lo- they went back to Mexico. Yeah. They yeah. lost the race war. Game, game anyway, over. game over, man. <laughs> the government this called these women so lost fancy. vessels, and they stopped at nothing to hunt down every last one of them. Hidden away in the remote village, Kaylee had managed to avoid detection. Who's Kaylee? Uh, who, who's who Kaylee? Kaylee? Uh, Skele- uh, can you be can you be Kaylee real quick? Yes, yeah. I can be Kaylee. Thank you. Who can tell me what this is? Kaylee asked her white boy sissy students, pointing to an illustration of a mushroom cloud in a leather bound pre war book. Bomb. The white boy. <laughs> a <shouted>. nuclear bomb. <laughs> That's right. Kaylee said Very her, good. <laughs> Kaylee said in her sweet matronly tone. Very good. Kaylee was Aryan beauty personified. Well, that's, that's just Jesus a, Christ. Wrong. Jesus Christ. Whitney, it has yeah. to stop. Whitney Ryan definitely, yeah, she's definitely, we know what she's doing. Yeah, Kaylee. For. Kaylee was Aryan beauty personified. Blonde, regal, dignified, and in the full blossom of youth. She just turned 18. Of course she did. Only hey. two oh years God. younger than Alex. And she grew more. Oh my be- God. And she grew more beautiful each day. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my God! She's a trad girl. She's a trad girl. Whitney <laughs> Ryan. Whitney Ryan wrote a trad. Okay. Maybe this is a self insert too. Okay. She wore a pure white traditional dress, cut long and modestly. Of course, it's modest. Her hair fell in gorgeous blonde cascades, adorned with a handmade bow. Her body was soft porcelain and undulating with the irresistible fullness of fertility she was a peach at the peak of its ripeness is she not in a wheat i'm surprised she's not standing in a wheat field i'm surprised she's not standing in a wheat field right now that scene comes later of course Uh, yeah like she's surrounded by like flowers and stuff like that yeah yeah (laughs) kaylee what's happening here kaylee asked pointing to a second illustration alex loved watching kaylee teach over time, she'd become the informal schoolmaster of the village. Most days, she taught the young white boys in a one-room schoolhouse over the ridge. But on particularly beautiful afternoons, she taught lessons in the open air of the square. That's when the EMP detonated. A precocious, white boy, sh- a precocious white boy shouted, pointing at the dramatic illustration. Don't. Kaylee and what said, does he- <laughs> and what does EMP stand for? Uh, electromagnetic pulse. The young white boy Fuck. said in unison. Every white boy knew the story. The ones who were old enough to remember it. The poor souls who lived through it, like Alex and Kaylee, couldn't shake the chain of events from their minds. Wait, he was like 11 and she was like... Yeah, what the fuck? Eight. I think the ages got switched around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> Make sure she was 18 right as the story began. Like that, ten, years ago, ten years ago, ten years ago, she would have been like eight or seven. So you know what? 
As, as Kaylee retold the story to her students, Alex looked out upon the mountains and the grisly images flooded back into his brain. What does an ENP do? Kaylee asked her students. Does anybody know? It messes up all of the computers. A white boy in a peach-colored sissy wig said, sitting Indian style on the ground. Oh, Alex Whitney, remembered do you have all. something to say about Indians? The drones with Where their rattling the tame guns, the explosions, the howling jets overhead, the tanks crushing the ground beneath their treads, the sporadic power outages, the alarms sounding, the emergency signal on the television set, the foreign troops invading, city block by city block. What? But if all what, uh, na what nation? Uh, Wait, there were okay, foreign. Look, okay, they just came from Africa. Before we what? get there, before we get there, apparently China and the Middle East helped Africans invade the U.S. Oh. Excel. Yeah, it, don't, right. don't think too hard reasonable. about it. You will, reasonable. You will lose your mind. Okay. This, mm -hmm. is, this is just Red Dawn 2. <laughs> <laughs> Alex's, Alex's dad and Kaylee's mom were divorcees, and they had recently married when the tactical nukes fell and the EMP detonated. Ushering in the beginning of the revolution of 2035. Little Alex was 11, and his little stepsister Kaylee was 7 at the time. The horrors wow. they witnessed were unspeakable, and the trauma forged a deep bond between them. And who launched the bombs? Who sent the airplanes and soldiers into the US? Kaylee asked. China! <laughs> <laughs> A clever 12-year-old white boy named Christopher, now legally Chrissy, said, It's Chris Chen. Uh, the Chinese and their allies want to destroy the United States, so they set off nukes in a whole bunch of cities. Correct! Kaylee said, A hint oh, of wait. grief? Cor Correct. Definitely a hint of grief. Kaylee said, A hint of <laughs> grief in her voice? <laughs> It's the PTSD. Come on. <laughs> uh, anybody know which ones? This is going to be on the next quiz. Just so you know. Uh, First, uh, it was New York, then Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, and Philadelphia, because that's probably the only five cities this author knows exists. Why did they <laughs> pick those major cities? <laughs> I don't know. Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. Glad, glad you could join us. <laughs> Kaylee no smiled. He couldn't help himself. It was impossible to stand idly by while they discussed the revolution. It was the central moment of Alex's life, the fulcrum of, ex of his existence, and he took every opportunity to teach those who were too young to remember it clearly. Can anybody answer his question? Kaylee pulled the students, but no hands raised. I'll let my steps see. Really? It's so disrespectful. <laughs> that's, that's, not even, that's not even like just like you're you're, you're you're in private. You're in private. Why don't you just say brother? <laughs> Cause you know Big Brother is watching. Come on, dude. It's literally 1984. It's literally 1984. It's Orwellian. Like, or, like Orwell couldn't have written it better himself. He really couldn't have. <laughs> I like to think Alex is. I like to think Alex is just like the biggest like 4chan edge lord. They uh, they chose those major cities because they knew it would unleash racial tension. Bojack <laughs> meme. <laughs> a seat, okay, look, a Alex said, stepping forward and taking a seat on the bench next to Kaylee. A sea of inquisitive young white boy faces. Israel, Israel, shut up. Uh -oh. Read it. Okay, wait. Is my is my thing back online? No, a, a sea of inquisitive young white boy faces, gussied up in makeup and wigs, looked on curiously. They knew Alex had seen the massacres firsthand. Okay, Alex. China, the Arab states, oh, sorry, and 
fucking vine boom, Israel sees the opportunity to carve up the world's lone superpower. They use small tactical Israeli nukes and EMPs to throw the cities into chaos. When the social order broke down, the races became tribal. First of all, I don't think I don't think this woman understands uh like world politics. Because... Hey, Bo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Oh shit, you can hear. Alright, let's go. My sis my shit's been like fucking around this whole time and I yeah. that's why I've been talking. Yeah, you I... good now, you good now. No, but like, China, this fucking woman, Kurdistan, and Israel teamed up to start a race not, war. This woman does not understand world politics. The like the Arab states and Israel would never do anything <laughs> together, especially not bomb nuke the U.S. Uh, so how did the Black Masters win? A white boy asked. There were way more of us than them. Good question, Alex said. The Chinese armed them. They armed the Latinos in the Southwest. The Chinese themselves invaded the old Union ter territory and took over Washington, D.C. In the South, they carved out for the blacks. In exchange for their loyalty, the Chinese furnished them with advanced weapons. They also shipped in warriors from... <laughs> Fuck my life. From oh. Sub-Saharan Africa as reinforcements. Pure strains, they called them. There was nothing okay. we could do against the, the fucking sub-Saharan menace. Okay, first it was all, a massacre. First, first of all, pause. Pause. Some, some, <laughs> some he's of, winging it. He, he's well, winging it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, appreciate, I appreciate the ad-libs. I appreciate the ad-libs. But also, also, why pure strains? You can just call them Africans. You can just call them Africans. Not oh cool God. enough. Pure blood Africans. You're really black cool enough. Seven yeah, feet tall, muscled, and rippling with tribal dresses. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Pain quivered through Alex's voice. Despite the hormones, he tried his best to sound manly, defiant, and resolute. He looked out over the class, and the awful truth fell fresh upon him once again. He still couldn't believe it. They were the final generation of whites who would ever exist. None of the children was younger than ten. No white on the face of planet Earth... Planet Earth is a what of the entirety of Europe? Really, the entirety okay, of okay, Europe okay, too? Okay. They only what? They oh my oh, god! No white on the, the face of Planet Earth was, was younger than ten years old. The invasion first, was swift, first in and it happened Georgia, in America, Europe, and Australia simultaneously. I call oh, the bull. only places I call bull. Bull. three white places. I call bull. Oh, not the Russia, entirety of Europe, Greenland. Ireland, nowhere. I mean, they said the whole of Europe, so... But it makes no All sense. The whole of Europe at once? You know what? The entire yeah. Western world, built on the backs of white multitudes, now belong to the Chinese, the Arabs, the Israelis, and the Africans, whose might grew more impressive each day. Okay, this literally sounds like someone from 4chan wrote this. Every rightoid's nightmare, the minorities take over. <laughs> But then they're not the minorities. Like, they're no longer the minorities. There is no way the Arabs and the Israelis would work together. Even no, if it was they've been to take, fighting. They wouldn't, even if it was to take over the whole world, they wouldn't. They especially wouldn't share it with Africans. You're or Chinese. Me, you're telling me the Chinese would work with Africans? No. Fuck like, no. no. That's, you. <laughs> that's the thing going on right now with uh, their mining companies in Africa. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. There was no like, even if China did invade America, they wouldn't give they wouldn't give black people anything. Literally, that's oh my god, it makes no sense. Okay, that's uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, let's continue. A global ideology of revenge had taken. Wait, what did what did America do to China? What revenge? White supremacy. Yeah, that's yeah. what we did. White supremacy, bro. Okay. It was white supremacy. White supremacy bad. Every white person is supremacy. <laughs> if anything, it okay. would just destroy the UK. Paul they fucking Fincher. hate them. Okay, but no, what, what I'm getting is like, what did like um what did Norway do to the Israelis? What did Australia what did do, do to shit? the Israelis? <laughs> what did Australia do? <laughs> what did America do to the Israelis? Dude, what did <laughs> All fine. we did was just give them weapons and nukes. Like I don't think anyone his his his, what, what have white people done to Israelis? You can't call Hitler doesn't count. That's different. That's everybody hated. That Hitler. is different. Yeah, but he's German. It's a different type of thing. They weren't part of the tribe. 
Oy vey. A glo- Oy vey. A global ideology of revenge had taken hold. Wait, someone asked, could this work out better if the attack was Nigeria? Plus, no, Arabs, <laughs> Arabs, would, Arabs would just use Africans as slaves. They already do that now. They would never give them anything. Anything. Anyway, solidarity against white supremacy <laughs> swept whites out of power in their home nations, and it was decided their continued existence could not be allowed. That's all for today, Kaylee said. The white boys dispersed and chatted among themselves, leaving Kaylee and Alex alone on the bench. The white boys were off to play hopscotch, pink their fingernails and toenails, and pop their daily doses of E. There was hardly a trace of manhood left, and Alex grew pessimistic at the prospect of lighting any spark of resistance within them. Increasingly, he felt the flame of masculine defiance wavering within him, within himself. That's what terrified him most of all. What's the matter, Alex? Kaylee asked. Alex. <laughs> Kaylee was the only one who still called him that. But she calls you step sissy, though. Yeah. yeah she true. knew what it meant to him. I know, it, it's just. Uh, it's hard to relive it all. Alex sigh. Said. I know. She actually said sigh. Okay. <laughs> Kaylee put her arm around Alex's shoulder. With stepsisterly empathy and love. <laughs> or was it more than that? <laughs> Alex was never certain. Their Uh-oh. relationship was unfathomable, with deep, tangled roots. In an absurd and sadistic world, their connection remained the one constant. There were so many shades to their relationship familial love, subtle flirtation, friendship, loyalty, and a desperate codependence. Alex didn't dare unpack it all. The heaviness of their feelings lingered in the air between them, coloring their every interaction. You still think about the revolution? Alex asked. Sometimes, Haley said. The subject was a raw nerve. The two of them navigated carefully around it. I always wondered what happened to her, Kaylee said. Your mother? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your <Yes>. mother? <laughs> <laughs> Your mother- yes. Kaylee's blue eyes stared out of the mountains, lost in haunted memory. She got up from the bench and walked lazily up her favorite path. Alex joined her, walking over a small wooden footbridge over a spring-fed creek. Someone just said, this has no right to be this poetic. She's (laughs) she's a surprisingly good writer. It's just weird. Like, I have read books so much worse with, like, better plots. But somehow this is- you know what? I always- sorry. They glimpsed their reflections in the babbling water. Her birthday just passed. You know that? If she's still out there, she just turned 39 years old. Kaylee said. Really? Alex Alex did quick math in his head. I guess you're right. It's the worst feeling. Kaylee said. Her Nordic face resembled a morning angel's. Oh my god. Ugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's morning, like morn. Uh, part of me hopes she didn't make it. I want to think she resisted, like your father did. Alex said nothing. He knew the truth, but he didn't want to unload it on Kaylee. Many times he resolved to tell her, but when the time came, his words failed him, missing a comma. Her mother's betrayal was too enormous, enormous to fathom. And like Alex's complicated feelings for his stepsister, the secrets lingered in the ether. Unspeakable. Ether? Really, Whitney? You're using words like ether in this? Oh my god, I hate her. <laughs> ether. Quixotic. Wrong type of, wrong type of ether, too. <laughs> <laughs> like she's, so, she's so poetic. She uses, just, her I'm, vocabulary is excellent. But just don't, ugh. Continue. I'm so intrigued by this woman. I never read it. Yeah. What do you what do you remember about that night? Kaylee asked. We've been through this. Alex said. I just want to hear it one more time. Try to concentrate. Maybe there's something I'm missing, some detail I haven't. I told you you were asleep. My dad and your mom, they were <laughs> arguing in the living room. Grr, something about her leaving. We never <laughs> saw her again. I was only 11. It, it was all way over my head. 
Alex is so mad. (laughs) That much was true. They were arguing. But what Kaylee didn't know, what Alex decided she must never know, is that her mother, Kate, had been a collaborator with the Black Revolutionaries. She left. Oh, shit. Oh, what a twist. She what a left twist. Alex's father to join their multicultural liberation force. There were many white women who did it. You know what? That's, that's actually an accurate part. That is a very accurate part of this. Um, there yes, were many it is. It is. Fucking snow bunnies. There were many white women who did it. Historians speculated that were it not for a huge percentage of white women siding with the black, black conquerors, the revolution would have failed. Of course. Of course. Of course. Fucking white women. Oh. <laughs> it's all their fault, man. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that is the only yeah, accurate getting away part. with it. That is the only accurate part. Okay. The awful <laughs> truth was Kaylee's mother had chosen the violent black revolutionaries over her own flesh and blood. Oh, it was Alex. Oh, it's Alex. Oh, oh shit. Alex. You're... <laughs> You're starting to look like she did. (laughs) Alex said. Kaylee managed to smile, blushing her blonde tresses from her face. You you think so? Mm Mm-hmm. She was beautiful. Tall, blonde, blue eyes. Everything the new Africans want to destroy. Yeah, I'm definitely... I almost heard the N-word there. (laughs) (laughs) This, This woman hangs out on pole. This woman not hangs a out on pole. You hear She's the fucking, fucking hatred. Person. She hangs <laughs> out on pole. There is no it's way she does not hang out. No, like I, I, look. This thing about Whitney Ryan is, I'm pretty sure she's a dude faking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is not a woman. A Whitney Ryan is, just... a, is a mixed anagram for white Aryan. By the way, if you look at it, like, just is it actually? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. You're missing one. Wait, you're missing one wait, A. Wait, what is oh, what? Shit. You're missing one A, but you can substitute the Y. Whitney Ryan, take out the E. White Aryan. It's like really <laughs> fast. It's the same thing. What the oh, fuck? Fuck. You nailed it. That's you nailed it. Shit. Like I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. So it's no. That it's a is, pin name. That's the best. Of course, so theory I've heard. <laughs> you put your fucking name on this piece of shit. I yes. would. I would. Oh my I god. Would. You guys need of, to aspire. Of course, Josh would. Have. I'm aspiring to like, this level of beauty. <laughs> he corrected Da Vinci Code. I will single handedly <laughs> the Matrix. Oh. Aryan Code. Handedly put together the Black Future Wiki. There's so much lore. Oh yeah, we should. We should start it. Oh, yeah. why does why does it sound like you're in a yeah, fucking you're underwater? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're in a tunnel. <laughs> I want to see a an R an RPG. Yeah, you're good now. I want to see a, a pixel RPG based on this book. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like if an, someone like, a, like an Earthbound type shit, I'll oh, do but the with themes of depression. I'll, I'll do the sprites for free, dude. Nice, nice. I know how to use that. Apple Street Maker, pretty good too. I will. But who's so much world building too. Who is who is he favoring? Is because <laughs> pretty sure he clearly humiliation, has humiliation cuckold born. This is yeah, humiliation. that's what I, I has the feeling <laughs> of that some degenerate craziness. Yeah. Oh my you know? god, I just I just read ahead like a couple of sentences and <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. God. Let's just keep going. Blood I'm gonna go to the rest? bathroom real quick. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, chat's saying they can't hear you. Oh, it's fine now. It was just a second. I think your internet just fucked up for a, for a second, but it's fine. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me just double check. 
Because it was fine for a second here. Let me just. Oh, yeah, no. Can't hear you on the stream, at least right now. Uh, it... I don't hear you. I hear everyone else, I think. Mm. That's a little yeah. unusual. Yeah, it should be fixed now. Hopefully. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, uh, sorry, guys. I have to actually run. I have some work to do. But that was a lot of fucking fun, Poe. And it was <laughs> nice hanging with all of you. I hope to see you all in the future. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, peace out, guys. Have a nice night. It was night. pleasant. Thank yeah, you. Me yeah, too. yeah, for bye sure. Bye. For sure. Later, guys. Later. Ugh. <laughs> Just like Whitney Ryan. God. Yeah. Oh, I don't like. What would they do to me if they found me, Alex? They won't find you. <laughs> but if they did, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Oh. God damn it, Paul. <laughs> oh, um. I just did it out because I, I turned the stream on for a second and I could hear you. Not right now, but the last time before I that. I can't hear Paul. Oh, that if, you, if your mic cord fell out, it's a different audio device. You might have to set Discord's audio or the at capture audio back again. Death stream. Is it? <laughs> Death, Death supremacist. <laughs> what did I miss? All I'm saying is Death supremacist. This is this is what happens when you don't consult me before stream, Poe. Maybe this is the clip. <laughs> Maybe Chad is just gaslighting you, Poe. No. They're totally gaslighting you. All okay. right. Who should, should, should tell the uh, chat that? I can tell the chat. I can tell the chat. All right. All right. So, okay. Uh, here's for those who can't hear Poe. Uh, Poe says we're going to cut it off for today because Poe has no idea what the fuck he's doing. I mean, he doesn't know what's going on with his microphone. Uh, that being said, we will see you when part two eventually, someday, comes around. Uh, so, with that being said, people, you all have a lovely day. I'll probably be jumping in VC, and hopefully Poe will get his shit fixed. If not, I'm going to fight him. <laughs> and with that, uh, anyone want to say anything before we hop off? Um, Subscribe to Tamp again. Thanks yeah. for listening. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, Uno underscore scam. Uh, I'd say follow me on Twitter, but honestly, there's no reason to. Yeah, don't My Twitter's me. a shithole. Or yeah, thank with that being oh, said, everyone, shit. have a lovely night. Uh, Borg F. Uh, yeah, keep it a watch later. Shout out to all my white boys in the crowd. Shout out to all my stepsissies. <laughs> Shout out to the guy who says Israel wants to be their sugar daddy. Anyways. <laughs> Remember to take your E, everybody. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What a, so what, a, what a mess. What a master. <laughs> what a master. Wait, I knew this is coming. Oh. Before, before.